What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 7 in the math 3 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that a company makes and boxes spaghetti. Each box should have about 32 ounces of spaghetti, and the box will be discarded if the weight of the box differs by more than a quarter of an ounce from the target weight of 32 ounces. And we see a bunch of answer choices with absolute value inequalities, and we're supposed to figure out which of them matches the range of acceptable weights of the boxes of spaghetti. So the big skill here is working with absolute value and working with inequalities. Now I'm going to start by looking at the wording of this problem and I'm, I am actually going to cheat a little bit because I can look at this third bullet point and I can see that the weight of the box, which the problem tells me is X, and I see the word differs. Whenever I see the word differs or the word difference, that tells me that I'm going to be subtracting. And there's actually two numbers next to this word differs here, quarter of an ounce or 32 ounces. Well, to figure out which number goes with that, I look at the word from. It differs from 32 ounces, which tells me that my answer should have the expression x minus 32 in it somewhere. And the only answer choice that has that is choice C, where the absolute value of x minus 32 is less than or equal to a quarter and in the context of the problem, it's a quarter of an ounce. So C is my answer, but I'm not gonna, gonna circle it just yet because I'm actually going to demonstrate how this whole idea works um, using something like a number line. Now this word differs by more than a quarter of an ounce. This, I can actually interpret another way to say that the box can be 32 ounces, that's ideal, but it can be a quarter of an ounce less or a quarter of an ounce more. If it's a quarter of an ounce more, its maximum weight is 32 and a quarter. If it's less than 32, it can be at least 31 and 3 quarters. So I know that my range of acceptable weights is somewhere between these two numbers. And I'll actually use the fact that I know this is C to prove this. Um, I don't usually like doing this, but I would rather just demonstrate the idea easily. So let's say that I pick a weight that's just below this, just outside of this range on the low side. Um, so in order to test absolute value, I go to my math button. I come over to number. This is absolute value. So if I do absolute value and then do 31.75 minus 32, or actually I'm testing something just outside the range, minus 32, it gives me my answer, which is 0.26. So a weight just outside this range would differ by more than a quarter of an ounce, just a little bit more, but still different. And then if I were to go the other way and test out the absolute value of, and just outside this range, 32.26 minus 32, that gives me the same thing. So just below this, just above this, I test that by finding the absolute value of the difference between that and 32. And I can see that just below the lower bound and just above the upper bound, I'm actually differing by more than a quarter of an ounce. So I found a good range and I found a good expression. The absolute value of x minus 32 has to be less than or equal to a quarter of an ounce. So choice C is my answer.